Welcome to Weekend Social Builds. I'm the Chiseler. I'm going to show you how I made not one, but two of these guys in just under two weeks. How'd I do it? Let me show you. So, we finished the shopping. I've already delivered the four sheets of MDF to Castle Social Vineyard. They're already back there. I had to rent a truck from Home Depot to bring the three quarter inch sheets of MDF back over there. Those fuckers are heavy, but they're there. And in the trunk is everything else. So we now have everything that we need to begin this build. Next step, let's get down to the basement of Castle Social Vineyard and show you how we're gonna be putting these together. Sit tight. All right, got them back in the house, Jesus. That was a nightmare. All right, let's get into this. So there are the four pieces of MDF that I've loaded into the dungeons of Castle Socialvania. But let me explain what's gonna happen here. I started off with this and I knew that I wanted to have something on the side and wanted to figure out maybe an access to the back or to the top. But I knew that I wanted to have this logo here I wanted to have a monitor. I originally wanted to have a 27, but I added a 24 instead. The buttons, door in the front, gonna have all the components there, joysticks and that. And that took me to a different place. I actually went out and found some plans. And here are the plans. So you can see that is what I'm gonna be building. You can see that is the arcade right there. And I'm gonna explain to you how I'm gonna do it too, piece by piece down here. At the feet, you're gonna have these. I was thinking originally about rollers, but decided against that. Here's gonna be the door hinge that's gonna be in the front with the lock and key. And the back here, you can see or along the back, there's gonna be a piano hinge style hinge, big door axis. Everything is gonna be run on a Raspberry Pi. We're gonna to get to that in a minute. It's right over here. Uh, at the top, you're gonna to have a little switch button on the side that turns on and off. These things are great. I got a three pack of those off Amazon for I think eight bucks. That's gonna uh, connect to this extension cord, which is gonna run down there. There you go. Then you got this piece of vinyl, which is gonna cover there. I got a, th uh, a piece that's gonna be shared across both machines to go up here, which is gonna have the LED light from behind. It's gonna go right there. It's gonna shoot out the logo. We're gonna get to the build of how all of this comes together in a minute. Here's the joystick components. We'll uh, open those in a bit. There's the TV that I got from uh, Best Buy earlier today. Here's the Raspberry Pi kit. This is the most astounding thing, guys. Look at this. The entire video game thing is gonna be run on a computer this small. Now this kit is fantastic. It comes with everything that you need to get this thing up and running with the exception of all the games. I've also got speakers, which are gonna be mounted right in here, right up here. So I've got two speakers that are connected via headphone jack and they're USB um, powered like light up speakers. Might turn that off. Let's see, I've got this screen. Uh, over here are some additional components that I got, you know, some screws, some finishing nails. I needed to get a, um, a drill bit so that it, you could um, actually drop these guys in. Got the primer, I got the paint. And that's what's gonna be built. And I've got two of these to make and I need to get it done in about uh, a week and a half. Let's see if we can make this happen. But this is to scale, this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna be cutting four of these exact. And then I'm gonna figure out how the in-between is gonna go. Anyway, that's the, uh, the next part. So we have transferred that image to the MDF. You can see right there, we've got everything else labeled. I've got an extra piece, piece down here for a bottom door. Uh, some more panel pieces and shelving up here. It's gonna be the back piece. And I'm gonna use this long piece of MDF. It's only a, a quarter inch. I'm gonna use it as a guide so I get a nice straight cut along this line using a circular saw. Then I'll come back and do these other two cuts. And then I'll come back with a jigsaw and make straight line cuts, finish out the piece, and then I'll have a template to work with. And there it is. It's all finished up. That's one. Now there are a couple of uh, lessons that I learned doing this. These corners, I uh, had to come through with uh, this guy, this little saw over here to kind of complete them. Um, that made it a little bit easier, but you can still see if you look in here, there's, you know, like a piece like that. I'm gonna have to sand that out. Um, I also, this angle was really tough for me to get to. Um, so I had to do a plunge cut, which I'm first time I've ever done it. But you can see I've got a little bit of like a nick there. I'm gonna have to sand this out because it's not all smooth. But everything else I'm pretty happy with. And, you know, again, as long as I do the other side to match, 
it's going to look great. So uh, not too bad. I'm I feel pretty good about it. So day one over, successful first day. I just got to do this three more times over there, but uh, we'll make it happen. But looks pretty good. Day two of the build. Uh, as you can see, I made uh, all the cuts that are necessary. I went back and took care of those little like problem areas that I pointed out uh, last night. But uh, this thing's ready to to be transcribed onto uh, those other boards of MDF. Okay, so I have taken this guy as a template, and he is on all three of the boards. Copied. Now you're, we're going to get to cutting. update uh had so we've got all four done i've marked all the panels and where they're going to go uh you can actually see it a lot better on this one if you look here i've marked each one with like b1 i3 f1 uh internal two you know and i've done everything i need for how it's going to look you can see where uh the control panel is going to be on this one um, and yeah, I'm getting a lot closer. And then I started working on this other one. I had a bit of a, an issue in the front. You can see it here. I have put in some like putty, uh, some plastic wood and trying to flatten it out. I'm going to sand that out and, uh, hopefully have like a good edge. It looks, you know, decent from, from a line perspective. And that's what I'm really worried about. All these are going to be primed and, and painted, and once I do, before I do that, I'm going to do a bunch of sanding. So, with that, I'm going to uh, also glue these guys down for support. Now, I had these from another project, and so I'm going to use those in um, for internal support. This is going to be where the light box is, where we've got a, um, the marquee. And so, it's basically going to support a little box here, which is going to be accessible from the door back here. So... That being said, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and, and do some more measuring and getting uh, these things gl glued on to, um, to the board, so yeah. So we're back at it today. We're actually gonna take the cutting outside because I can't even tell you how much sawdust is in my basement now because of cutting MDF. So we're cutting it outside. Got everything set up right here. Got everything ready to go. I'm gonna get to cutting. I got a lot to do before the sun goes down and hopefully I can get it done this this evening so i can begin to build the true construction tomorrow let's get to work been cutting for about an hour and a half i'm about only halfway done so got a lot of work to do but it's going faster and faster i'm getting to the bigger pieces now the ones that i'm finishing up here they're basically like the same board multiple cuts three cuts each but still it's taking a bit of time so eventually i'm gonna have to go back in and keep uh doing some work i gotta tighten the blade on my Circular saw though, that was an interesting experience, but it's going well. And man, look at all that dust. Oh boy, at least I'm not breathing. Lots of progress made yesterday, so we are going to actually begin constructing these guys today. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're also going to be cutting the track along a little edge here. It's going to be related to the T-molding, which uh, the router bit is on the way. Amazon should be here any minute now with that. First time ever, ever using a router. It's going to be fun. Uh, first thing, I'm going to start drilling some pocket holes in the bottom, uh, the bottom piece, um, and then go ahead and put the mounts for the screw feet uh so it's not touching the concrete and then uh once i'm done with that i think i'm going to be ready to 
start putting this thing together. So literally two minutes ago, while I was completing the pocket holes, Amazon shows up with the two last things that I needed. These are going to be used to cut along the edge of the arcade cabinet so I can install the T-molding. So it's got a little uh, blade slotting cutter, and then it's got a little auger that goes with it with an adjustable head. And so I'm gonna do a couple test cuts on this piece over here so that I can make sure that I've got it at the right depth. I've already started right there, kind of line out where that needs to be. And we're gonna get moving. Uh, that's the last thing. Uh, the flat pieces uh, don't have any curves in them. This is gonna be the base. There's two more pieces, one interior, um, and then one at the top that don't require any heavy cuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these things together. So I went ahead and started putting the box together because I think it's going to be a little bit easier for me to figure out this routing with the uh, for the T molding slot when it's standing up. The reason why I can't see where it's cutting, and you can see I made a little bit of a mistake, and I don't know how to fix that. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, probably patch that up with some uh, wood molding. I still have a little bit of patching to do up here anyway, so I'm not going to be able to complete the T-molding cut, but at least I can get the boxes uh, starting uh, together. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in this piece here with this interior piece. And let's see, probably the only other piece that's not uh, cut significantly is this piece right here, which is the control box piece. I'll put that one in and then everything else, I'm going to have to uh, wait until I get to the table saw. All right, people, we're gonna put this thing together. Uh, we are, I've already put one cabinet together, which is probably gonna be my cabinet. It's got a little bit more mistakes on it, but that's okay. Uh, it's a first beginner draft, and I'm gonna probably end up bondoing some stuff just to fill in some of the gaps and make sure that it's good. But here we go. There is Imani's cabinet. I'm gonna start putting it together. Take a look. The police. This just happened. That is a shame. The board came out. Gotta re-screw that one in. That board came off. So I gotta redo those pieces. Uh, that came out down there. Shit. That's a fucking bummer. Well, the bad news is that happened. The good news is I think I got it fixed. I got everything put back together. 
I'm bracing it up a little bit. I put a little bit of glue. You can see the glue that I put around in there as well. Um, just to add a little bit more support. I'm going to call it for tonight. I think um, I need to let this sit for a while. I've got a couple of things that I need to design anyway. Some unique uh, little tricks and stuff like that that I'm going to include for both Imani and myself. But I think, uh, I think I'm good for tonight. So new day. I uh, did a lot of thinking last night on how I was going to make this box better. And... Um, repair some of the mistakes that I made from uh, from the last couple of days. I know that I've got a little bit of touch-up work to do on the box that fell last night. I know that I've also got some touch-up work to do on the box that's currently standing right here. You can see it. Um, this needs to be touched up a little bit here. Uh, there's some parts in the back, but at the end of the day, uh, that's going to happen with soft material like MDF. Now, the other great thing is I'm going to be using Bondo. We're going to see how that works. Uh, but I think it should, from what I've uh, researched, should cover up all the mistakes that uh, are on the boards. This is going to be, instead of uh, taking it down to construct, I'm actually going to put it together up here and then use the hand truck and move it around. So hopefully that'll eliminate some of the mistakes. Let's get back to it. I'm excited. It's Saturday. Got a little bit more runway to, to make some progress on this. So uh, lots of cutting today, lots of assembling today. I want to get both these boxes essentially built. Uh, and then uh, if I can work on the marquee and the control panel today, then uh, I'll be pretty much ready to go. Much better. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, we're going to start cutting some of the pieces that are going to go along the back and the front here. This is going to be the most critical piece right here. This is going to be the piece where the monitor is going to go. I'm going to do that one last. And the reason why is because I've got to get these measurements precise, the angles to the point. And uh, there's also with the control panel that's going to go right here. It's going to butt up against this panel here. So I've got to be really, really, really accurate. It may vary depending on this model and the model over there, but I got two of them built. It's going to be pretty badass. All right, we're going to give this a test run. I haven't plugged this in. This is the first time I've done all the wiring on the console. Uh, all the buttons are hooked up. I've got my keyboard, got my mouse, got the remote. And I need to figure out how to go to this. All right, we got it all set up. Let's see if we can get Mortal Kombat to work. Put in a coin. All right. Okay, two credits. Oh, there we go. So let's give you a little bit of an update on where we stand with the arcade machines. Speaking of arcade machines, we got two of them right here. I've done a lot of work over the past week, guys. Um, let's start with the control panel. I went ahead and made these control panels removable so that uh, if we want to expand this eventually to three or four players uh, or put in additional components like a trackball or uh, what have you, we can do that. 
Um, I put in an LED light. You can see it right back there. Let me turn it on for you. Boom, that's gonna light up the marquee. Last thing I'm doing on the cabinet itself before I do the, the trim is I'm uh, putting these guys in, which are gonna be the support for the monitors. Now, monitor uh, boards were probably the hardest part that I needed to cut. If you look over here, you can see that these are a 30 degree angle, and or sorry, 20 degree angle right here, 30 degree angle right here. I had to do those by hand and could not use my table saw, which was a bitch, but hey, uh, it was a good learning experience. Then I had to cut out the center to make this final piece. Let me show you the, the two final pieces that we got. So this is, the, this is going to be the front of one of the pieces. This is the better of the two. And this is going to be the front of the other. And you can see the first one's got a little bit of a uh, little damage there and you know, not great cuts on this side, but I'm gonna touch those up. Now to cut out the middle parts, I drew, drilled four holes and I uh, was planning to use the jigsaw, but unfortunately the jigsaw that I have is cordless. So I got to about three quarters of the way around on the first one and I ended up having to cut the rest by hand. Uh, then I decided, you know what, if I wanna get straight lines, I can go ahead and put a, a brace down so I can get a straight line, did some plunge cuts, which I fucking hate doing, but I'm much more comfortable with them now, which gave me these really, really nice edges here. And you can see this is really clean. So I've got to do a couple more things today before I can begin painting. First thing I need to do is I need to put the T-molding. So this T-track molding, you can see right here. This is gonna go around the outside. Now it's covered in dust right now because you know what? I've been covered in dust too because of this MDF shit. But uh, this little track is gonna sit in a slot that I'm going to route in with this bit. I'm gonna be doing a test cut here. And then I have to bring the cabinets in, turn them on their sides, do one side, flip it over, do the other side, doing that for both the cabinets today. Then I need to switch out the blade on the router and I need to do the back because I want to have the TV sit flush against the back here. So I'm gonna come down about half an inch to right about here. And then I need to, drip to uh, do a small little sensor section for that guy right there so that the remote can actually be recognized. Now, speaking of the TV, I wanna show you this thing completely wired up. We're going over to the podcast room. This is where we record our podcast every, um, every episode from here on out. It's the future speakeasy of uh, the Castle Socialvania. But uh, you can see there's the TV that we're gonna be using. But let me, let me just demo this, because this, this really got me fired up. I got the Raspberry Pi in its little kit. This is the small, this is the, the computer that does this. It's so freaking small, it's tiny as anything. But let's go ahead and fire this guy up. Uh, let me get the remote. Now this is a smart TV, so I will be able to watch TV on this. But uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. Now I've got, this is the board that's gonna be on the one that's staying here. But uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Now watch this guys. Look at that. So I've already, I've, I, I've already taken the time, downloaded a bunch of games, tested a bunch of them out too. Some of them do not work, but uh, here it is. It's loading up right now. It's doing its Raspberry Pi business and it's gonna go into Retro Pi. I've got games in here from the arcade, from Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, uh, N64. I believe it goes all the way up to PlayStation, the original one, and Xbox, the original one. But uh, let me just go ahead and fire up one for you. So the joysticks are all uh, wired up, buttons are all, all wired. Uh, you can see the wiring here. It's a big, big mess. But I did a lot with uh, wire organization. So we got a lot to do today. Lots of work to do. I've got, once I've finished routing there, once I complete uh, the priming and, and getting everything done there, I'm uh, getting the T-Track done. Um, I've got to get them painted and I'm getting them over to E-Money's tomorrow. I've been teasing him like a motherfucker. I've been brutal about this, but uh, I need to get it over to him. And it would be two weeks to the day getting it, getting all the materials and getting these out the door. I'm really excited. Uh, come work with me today. I'm gonna do some more filming. It's been an exciting project. I just can't wait to get them done. Let's get going.
All the cutting's done. This is evidenced by my clothes here. You can see lots of sawdust. But uh, we are now going to get into the final step before painting, which is going to be sanding down the machines so that it will uh, accept the primer. Uh, this has been a fun project. Uh, we're going to start painting these fuckers and then putting them together. So we've done a lot this week, uh, last two days in particular. Uh, we've got the cabinets painted. You can see them over here. Um, here's the one that I'm going to be keeping here. I've got a little bit more work to do. Got some bubbles on the control panel and the monitor panel and some on the sides. And it just looked like arcade acne. And I was like, man, then get that out of here so uh but here's the money it's in much better shape i've already put the uh the t-track molding on you can see here uh i've done it around i needed to glue a little bit up there um but otherwise it looks pretty good uh a couple of modifications i'm going to need to do i need to drop this panel right here uh cut a little square for the uh speaker to sit flush same thing here uh, i'm about to install the the monitor panel i finally got that thing worked out let me show you how i did that you can see it right here, um, it is flush with the screen. And then if you turn it over, um, that's how I've mounted it. And it actually works out that a one by four fits right in between those four pegs. So um, we're gonna install it and see how it works. I'm really excited, we're getting really close. I should be able to take this over to E-Money's house tomorrow. I cannot wait for him to see it. So uh, he's excited, I'm excited. Hope you're excited too. Let's see uh, this thing go in. I've painted and touched up the cabinets, uh, both of them, I actually did a bunch of retouching on mine, and now it's time for the small details. And it wouldn't be a weekend social arcade cabinet without money claw tabs, that's right. We're going to put red on mine and green on e-monies, and you get to watch. So, nice little tedious process, we'll get to it. That is what we do. Look at that. Uh, that took me probably about 45 minutes to an hour of just putting those tabs up. Man, so good, so good, so good. We got a little bit more work to do tonight. Uh, I've got to install a couple of uh, finishing touches to Imani's machine, but we are really, really close. It looks amazing. Uh, next is going to be the marquee, and we're going to put the uh, acrylic on top of the monitor and doors. And I think that's about it, aside from installing the Raspberry Pi and hooking everything up inside. But we'll get to that.
Look at that. that my people is what dreams are made of so a couple more things to do i've got to finish the control panel i need to take care of a little notch right here uh for the buttons to to fit in need to make sure that i install the bottom door uh you can see i've got an ammo box with all the important information I uh, need to put the locks on the doors. I need to put the plexiglass on. And then I can wrap this sun gun up. And I'm going to take it over to E-Money. And that's going to happen tomorrow. And you guys are going to get to see it. But right now, I'm going to have my Blackberry. Once you go Blackberry, you never go Backberry. This is the Chiseler signing off. Good evening. It's a weekend social. Builds. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but uh, it's raining today. Unfortunately... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take over the cabinet over to E-Money, but let me show you what I've done so far. So we've got the marquee. It's all locked and loaded. It, it's looking good. The bevels around the speakers, they're in. The glass, it's the acrylic that's protecting the screen. It's in, ready to go. Just got to pull that film off. Got one more cut to do right here so that uh, we don't have any interference with the buttons. I've got to re, um, we got to move this door out a little bit and rehang it. It's almost done. Put the lock in, put the lock in back there. And then one more thing so that e -Money can hang up his belt. It's going to be putting rivets on the side of the cabinet. We're ready to go. It's just the weather's not cooperating. So cross your fingers. Hope we can um, make it happen tonight. If not, bring it to him on a Friday. It's a weekend, right? Let's get to it. We can consider the build done. Let's uh, get that. Yeah, what's up? Look at those lights, the speakers, the buttons. Dude, this thing is awesome. <laughs> it's in. It is in. Look at All that. Right. Weekend social, baby. Yep, weekend social. So we got it in. Wasn't too bad getting it over here. Um, we rented a truck, same truck that we got from Home Depot. Everything's in. We've loaded them up with arcade games, the same games that I've got on mine. We're gonna uh, we're gonna give it a test run. So what do you think? What yeah. game do you want to play? Let's do it. You ready? Yes. All right. It's usually the left two buttons. Do like jump, jump together. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. All right, so we're butt kick. Oh, come well, on. Guess what? We have we have endless quarters. <laughs> Where you going? Fucking Dalton. You have to play Dalton. Yeah, might as well. All right, I'll be I'll be the shittiest character, Zangief. <laughs> All right. All right, so this has been a weekend social build. E-Money, you happy? Yeah, I'm happy, man. All right, we'll get to playing, man. Yeah, let's do it. And there you have it, guys. It's done. Uh, E-Money says that he loves the cabinet. He's really enjoying it. Uh, I got a text from Honey Badger, and I got a text from Wheels, uh, E-Money's son, just telling me how much they enjoyed it. Uh, that, that makes my, my heart 
really, really happy. Uh, I've enjoyed this project. If you've made it this far, by the way, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. There's going to be more content coming soon, uh, like the belt builds that I'm doing for the watcher coming up. So make sure you check that out. Uh, some lessons learned I wanted to pass along and a couple things that I did not mention in the video. Uh, I didn't go through like where to find the ROMs. That's not, I'm not going to talk about that. But I also uh, didn't talk about the controls or, or any of the uh, Raspberry Pi setup. Um, you can find tons of videos like that on YouTube. But I will tell you a couple of the lessons that I learned. Number one, I, if I do this again, I'm never going to use MDF. MDF is good for some things, but unless you have a good dust collection system or going to do all the cuts outside, don't use it. Because this entire basement is covered in this orange dust. It's going to take me the next month, month to clean up. So that's number one. Number two, I probably would have bought a different set of controls. These controls are great, but you can see over here on my machine, the, uh, the LED lights are out on the left-hand side. I'm, I've already ordered a uh, backup set of parts to correct that. But still, do some research. Spend a little bit of time. Do some thinking. Uh, also, I didn't... Uh, show the plans that I use. I got mine off of an Instructables, uh, I think, how-to from five, six years ago. But if you need those, I'm going to go ahead and link them below. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're going to be doing more and more of these. Uh, and as we start doing creative stuff, I want you guys along for the ride. If there's anything you guys want to see, please let us know. And with that, I would like to sign out with a Weekend Social. This is the Chiseler. Weekend Social! Cheers.